I enjoy doing ham radio things outdoors and amongst the public. And if you've ever done this, you know that the general public gets curious about what it is you're doing. They'll stop, they'll stare, and they'll ask questions. And some of those questions can be pretty amusing. I recently had an encounter where I was operating in my front yard and a random passerby came through and he stopped and he stared and he asked questions. Now, unfortunately, I didn't record this event, but I do remember it. There was only about 30 words exchanged so I can get the dialogue just right. So what I'm gonna do is reenact it. My friend Mike's gonna play the guy. I'm gonna stretch my acting chops and play me and we're gonna reenact the scene for you, and I hope you find it amusing. Let's get going. Normally when someone stops and asks me questions about ham radio, I'm more than willing to spend as much time as they want and answer all their questions, but in this particular case, I was doing something that was a little time sensitive, as you'll see. Here's the reenactment. The hell is that guy doing? What is that? What are you doing with it? Receiving an image. Of what? I don't know. From where? The International Space Station. You gotta give the guy credit. He got all the information he needed in just four simple questions. That's efficiency. What I was doing was receiving an image. The answers I gave were 100% accurate. I didn't know what the image was going to be. It was from the International Space Station. You see, every couple months, astronauts on the space station fire up their ham radio and send images to Earth using something called slow scan TV or SSTV. They usually send a batch of images to celebrate some milestone accomplishment or anniversary of some space thing. And hams all around the world like to track the International Space Station and receive the images. If you're curious what it sounded like receiving that image, here's a sample of SSTV. That's what SSTV sounds like. In this particular case, I was using my Aero handheld dual band Yagi antenna to capture that sound using my Kenwood THD74 handheld ham radio. I was actually recording the sound to an SD card. And then later I took it to my computer and decoded the image and here's what it looked like. Cool stuff, SSTV is fun. If you would like to receive an image from the International Space Station, you can do it with pretty much any handheld ham radio that operates on a two meter band. You can uh, download an app for your phone or tablet and you can just play the sound directly into the phone or tablet and, and it will decode the image for you. So it's really pretty easy and you don't need a special antenna. The signal is really good on the International Space Station. You can actually use the rubber duck antenna that came with your radio. If you'd like to know when the astronauts will be sending images back down to Earth, I'll put a link to a website in the description below. Check that out, bookmark it, and then you'll know the next time they make an announcement of SSTV transmissions. I hope you enjoyed the video. We certainly enjoyed making it. I wanna thank my friend Mike for uh, playing random guy. He did a great job. And I wanna thank you for watching the video. Thank you very much. I'm K4BBL and I'm Clear73.